my lovelies and welcome back to my channel and to a new video. I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. So today's video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be all about the summer outfits that I will be wearing on repeat this summer. So we're already halfway through, kind of, and I've already worn all of these outfits at least once and I'll definitely carry on wearing them throughout the summer. I'm certainly an outfit repeater and I'm not ashamed of that. I don't know why people don't repeat outfits. If you absolutely love something, why not just keep on wearing it over and over again? I'm going to show you a real range of outfits that I've been wearing, some more dressed up and some more casual. I do prefer dressing up a little bit more, so my casual outfits tend not to be too casual, but I still do wear a lot of casual things day to day, especially if I'm doing something more practical like if I'm going for a bike ride or something obviously you need a more practical outfit. If you do like today's video definitely give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments below if you have enjoyed it and also let me know what outfit was your favourite from today's video as well. I will also be sharing loads of photos of these outfits over on my Instagram so if you don't already follow me over there I am at Katie Levion Rose so go give me a follow so you can see all of my up-to-date outfits, what I'll be wearing over the summer, over there. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel as well and you would like to see more videos from me, definitely subscribe and it would be great to see you back here in the future. Right, so let's get on with the outfits. I'm already wearing the first look. I absolutely adore this outfit. So this strawberry skirt is from Kath Kidston. I got it a few years ago in the outlet, so you might be able to find it on somewhere like Depop or Vintage now, but I don't think they sell it anymore like in store or online. I've just popped on this really cute little t-shirt, it says Levy and Rose on it with little pink sunglasses as well, hopefully you can see that. Just to make it a little bit more casual, of course the skirt is like that lovely skater skirt style so it's really flattering nice and airy as well for the summer so it's the perfect kind of summer outfit I think this would be lovely wearing to a picnic or to the beach maybe if it's not too windy anyway with this outfit I do style it multiple different ways so sometimes I'll wear trainers if I want it to be more practical and casual but today I'm going to pair it with a pair of cream ballet pumps and then for my bag of choice, I'm gonna go with my Ted Baker bag, which is just, of course, the perfect pink shade, because we don't have enough pink in this outfit, I don't think, so it's lovely to match the pink as well. I know it's a bit of a pink overload, so if you're not so keen on all the pink, you could, of course, pair this with a white bag instead and go with the white from the T-shirt in the accessories as well. The next outfit you would have seen multiple times on my channel already. This is the dress from my New Look and H&M order that I did a few weeks ago. So this dress is from New Look. I absolutely adore it. It is the perfect midi dress. I love the print, I love the colour, I love the shape of it. The bust area is gorgeous with the cinched detail and the little bow as well. It's got a tie around the waist as well and slightly puffy sleeves. I absolutely love this dress and it is one that I have worn so much since I bought it and definitely I will continue wearing it throughout the rest of the summer. I also think this is a really good transitional piece. So either from spring to summer or even summer to autumn, I reckon this would work really well. Because it is that midi length, it's going to keep you a little bit warmer during the spring or autumn months uh, through that transitional period with a cardigan like a white cardigan or you could even take the pink from the little pink leaves on this dress and wear a pink cardigan you could wear um, nude colour tights with this as well I don't think it would work with normal tights so colour tights I think wouldn't really work with this but definitely nude just to keep you a little bit warmer this was one of the best purchases I think I've made in a very long time. So today I'm going to style this up with my tan basket bag. I think this is just a really good summer staple as well. This is a perfect holiday bag 
This one is from Accessorize, but I got it from Vinted. You can find this kind of bag literally anywhere at the moment. They're very in. So any high street store should have something similar to this. If you can't find anything on the high street, again, I would of course recommend Vinted or Depop for something like this. And to stick with the tan of the bag, I'm gonna pop on my tan sliders, which were also from my New Look and H&M haul. These were from New Look as well. They're super comfy, really easy to just slide on and you're ready to go. So I think this is a lovely summer outfit. Nice, easy breezy, simple look. Next up, I've gone for a very simple and casual outfit. This is something that I've been wearing recently. I got these shorts from H&M a few weeks ago. They're the perfect style short for me. They're not too baggy. They're kind of like a slim fit mum style, which I love. I love the colour as well. The light denim, I think, is a really nice colour to go for in summer. I've just popped it on with this knitted cami top, which I got recently from Primark. It's just a white and black stripe knitted cami. And just to add a little bit of extra something, I've just popped on this belt from ASOS. I got this years ago, so you probably can't get it anymore, but you might be able to find something similar on Vinted again, or Depop. It's just got this really cute little heart buckle. Just adds a little bit of something to the outfit. Because this is a more casual outfit, and I would normally wear something like this on days that I'm doing something a bit more practical so if I'm out in the garden or going on a bike ride or a walk or something this is the kind of thing that I would wear so with this I would style it with some trainers so I'm going to go with my black converse I've had these for years as they as you can probably tell they look very old and worn but I actually prefer the look of converse when they are a bit more worn so I absolutely love these they're super comfy and they go with so much in my wardrobe. So this is the perfect pair of shoes I would wear with this. To keep with the black theme, as I've gone with black with the belt and the shoes, I'm gonna go with a black bag as well. So I've just got this one from Tommy Hilfiger. I got this quite a few years ago as well, but it's just a simple black crossbody bag really, so you can get something pretty similar in any high street store or designer store if you wanted to design a version of this. I normally tend to wear black, especially black accessories like a black bag in autumn winter, but because I have got the black in here, it just makes sense to continue that kind of color scheme throughout my outfit. I would normally say a general rule for when choosing your accessories, don't overdo it with colors. So I normally choose just a maximum of three colors in my outfits. So here we've got three colours, so I've got the denim blue, white and black, and I wouldn't go overboard with that. Just because if you start adding too many colours, it can look a bit chaotic and very messy and just not very well put together. So I think a really good fashion tip I would say is to stick to just a maximum of three colours in every outfit you style. That way you're going to know that everything looks seamless, put together, and you're going to look very classy and chic as well. Next up, you would have guessed this, I've got on my favourite dress. If you have seen my 50s styling video, you would have seen this dress already, and or if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this as well. Oh, I absolutely adore this dress. So this is from Hell Bunny. It is a swing style dress, like a 1950s style. It is perfect for summer. I can imagine going for a picnic in this dress, which I still need to do. I mean, I, I went for a picnic in Paris in this dress and we sat on a park bench, but I just feel like I need to go on another picnic here and wear this because I just can't get enough. Oh, and it's got pockets as well. Any dress with pockets is perfect. <laughs> I've definitely worn this dress a lot already this summer and I will continue wearing it a lot more as well. I think because of the pattern and the colour and everything, it is definitely just a summer dress. You could probably get away with wearing it in spring, but it's definitely a seasonal dress. Like most of my 50s style dresses are, I do tend to go for like the floral designs. I don't actually have anything vintage style 
for autumn and winter which I need to kind of crack down on that because I seem to only like go 50s in the summer which is really annoying but yes this is definitely just a summer dress so I need to make sure I get my wear out of it during spring and summer I feel like I have already but I do want to wear it even more to make this a more kind of everyday outfit I know this wouldn't be everyday for everyone but for me I would definitely wear this just on a normal day out but there's definitely ways that you could style it to kind of style it down as such I mean I don't mind styling up I would probably wear it with like my vintage top handle bag and some cute little ballet pumps but in terms of making it more of an everyday style I would pop it on with some trainers so in Paris I did style it with these shoes they're just like a silver converse I got these years ago I absolutely love them they're a little bit scuffed but I really like them I'm just gonna pop the dress on with these just to make it a little bit more casual this also does make it way more wearable in terms of if you're going walking far and things like that obviously trainers are going to be much more practical and they, they were perfect in Paris. So that was a really wearable outfit, especially in Paris. And I felt really comfortable. I didn't feel like people were looking at me weirdly. So if you do worry about that kind of thing, when you dress more kind of extravagant, I guess, or like really girly, just even if people do look at you, they're probably not looking at you in the way that you think they are. They're most likely looking and thinking, wow, they look amazing not thinking oh my god why are they wearing that like you'd probably think <laughs> yourself but you always tend to think the worst when people look at you but most people are looking and thinking that you look good so just wear what you want to wear so to carry on with the gray like silvery color with the shoes i'm just going to pop on this michael kors bag this is just a crossbody bag so again it just casuals the look down a little bit more and it carries on with the colour in the shoes as well, which I think is really important to do. The next outfit I've got on is a really simple one again, but I think it's really flattering. This could be dressed up or dressed down, so it would be good for an evening out or during the day if you wanted it to be. Just got on this really cute blouse from H&M. I actually got this on Vinted, but it's originally from a H&M. It's got these really lovely puff sleeves and it's in this gorgeous pink floral print. I think it's a very flattering shape because it's got the shearing all around and around the back and everything as well. I absolutely adore the puff sleeves. You probably already know I love a puff sleeve. I've just popped it on with this white A-line skirt. This is from New Look, but again, I also got this on Vinted a few months ago now. A classic white skirt is going to go with everything. You can wear it through every season, just style it up differently and you're good to go. With this outfit, I'm just going to pop on some white sandals. But I've got these ones from New Look. These were also in my New Look and H&M haul a few weeks ago. These are super comfy, very practical and again, they're just going to go with everything. So they're a very good staple to have in your spring summer wardrobe. I'm going to add a bit more pink to this outfit and pop on my Michael Kors cross body bag with this just to casual it down a bit so this is something that I would definitely wear during the daytime and then it would be good like if you didn't have much time between going out in the day and then transitioning into the evening it's a really good outfit to use for that kind of thing so you can just get home switch your shoes and possibly your bag and then you're good to go out for the evening as well I've worn this top so much already this summer and again I will continue to wear it this is a new pairing that I've found um, actually from my 50s styling video I did wear a white midi skirt instead of this mini A-line skirt but I absolutely loved the combo so I'll definitely be wearing it a lot this summer so this outfit will definitely be on repeat in my summer wardrobe. Last but definitely not least is this gorgeous dress from H&M. You would have already seen this on my channel as well. I feel like most of these outfits, or some other pieces at least, you would have already seen on my channel. And you definitely would have seen them on my Instagram. I absolutely love this dress. I got it recently. I actually got the black one first, which I'll quickly show you. This is another one that I would wear as well. Both of these I would wear during summer on repeat. 
The black one I think is definitely one that you could wear all year round, even though it is linen, which is more of a summery material. Because of the colour, of course, I think you could style it with tights and everything and it would be perfect for autumn winter as well. You would have seen that one in one of my previous videos as well. This one I think is more of a summer dress, so I wanted to show you this one specifically. I have already worn it, I wore it to London and I've worn it out for drinks with friends as well. So I think again this is another great staple piece to have in your wardrobe. Anything like this that you can wear day and night I think is perfect. Any pieces that I get loads and loads of wear out, they're the kind of things that I like to invest in in my wardrobe. I mean this wasn't even an investment, I managed to get this one on Vinted and it was like £11. The original price of the dress, if you bought it new, I think is about £20. It should still be in stock, so if it is, I will link it down below. It did also come in like a cream colour and another one I really want to get it in the cream with like the pink flowers on. It's so pretty. I just love this style and the shape I think is really flattering. Again, it's got the puff sleeves which I love, the gorgeous sweetheart neckline. I love the detail on the back, the tie detail and the sheared um, waist at the back. I think it's very flattering too. So I absolutely love this dress. It is linen, but it's lined as well, so it's got a lining underneath, which I think is perfect. You could definitely style this so many different ways. I'm just gonna pop on today some cream loafers, so it matches with the cream bag. This is more of like a preppy kind of look, but I could go like beachy with this because it's a linen dress, so maybe sandals or flip-flops or something. A beach bag would look lovely. So. This is a great staple really, it can be styled so many different ways, dressed up, dressed down, whatever you like. I love this dress and this is now one of my favourite dresses in my wardrobe as well. That does conclude today's video my lovelies, thank you so so much for clicking on today's video and giving it a watch. I really hope that you enjoyed it and it's given you maybe a few ideas of what you could be wearing this summer. If you liked any of the pieces in this video, if they are still available, I will try and link them down in the description for you. But a lot of the pieces I do own are from previous summers and from years ago, so I might not be able to find certain things. But definitely, like I said, give it a search on Vinted, Depop, eBay even. There might be some of these pieces on those secondhand stores that you, if you really, really like them. You could also recreate these looks with pieces that you already have in your wardrobe, so they don't have to be exact, but just to give you a little bit of style inspiration, maybe. Let me know which outfit was your favourite from today's video, and also let me know if you really enjoy repeating your outfits. Like with a lot of these pieces, I obviously re-wear everything in my wardrobe every summer, but a lot of them, you can style them in so many different ways that it actually makes the outfit look completely different every time you wear it. So I think getting pieces like that that you can style multiple ways is perfect. And it's definitely a great way to be more sustainable with your clothing and your wardrobe and not buy quite so many pieces. Again, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.